Google produces some amazing free resources, SEO, AdWords, social media. The problem is they're a little hidden. They're not all obvious. Some are obvious. Webmaster Tools is kind of obvious. But where are they? They're all over creation. So in this video, I'm going to share my favorite free Google goodies, official, that will help you become a better internet marketer. Let's get started. Welcome back. We're going to look at our free Google goodies. So we're looking at these free things that Google produces to help us be better marketers. And just a heads up, I'm not going to look, I'm not going to show you the more obvious free things like uh, Webmaster Tools or Google Analytics or, or even the Google SEO Guide if you don't know where that one is. I'm going to show you some things that most people haven't heard of. So I'm going to start with Google Takeout. Google Takeout is a nifty little service. Uh, all of these are free. What Google Takeout will do is you log into Google Takeout and most important, you can back backload, you can download your Google Drive. So if you use Google Drive, if you have things up in the cloud, your Plus One, your Blogger, your Buzz, which is if you're using Buzz, that's really sad because that one's nearly dead. But you can pull down your Google data and back that up, take that with you, make it portable. So this is a really cool backup tool uh, for any of the Google services that you're using. It doesn't support Gmail. Uh, there's a way to back up Gmail, but this is not it. But it does give you a lot of good, um, interesting stuff. All right, so let's talk about number two. Number two on my list is authorship. So what are we talking about with authorship? Authorship is you go to Google, you type in something like SEO classes, and you'll see on Google that my picture shows up, right? So this is sort of such an important thing in SEO these days. So there's my picture. How do you get your picture to show? I actually have a YouTube about it, but I want to show you the primary Google resource that explains what this is. So you have to know the magic word is authorship, and then Google goes and explains to you what your various steps are. So it's a free service by Google that's very sort of self-promotional, and you want to enable authorship to get that picture to show. So that's this number two. Number three is your Google blog search. Google blog search. What is Google blog search? Well, say you want to do link building and you want to go to Google blog search, type in something like organic food. In the blog tool, go to more. I'm sorry, go to search tools. Go to past week. Now I've got anybody that's written a blog post in the past week on organic food. And you can do this on anything do organic baby food. This is a great way to find potential blog relationships. You can go and drill down and find blog posts and original blogs that talk about your keywords. That's called Google Blog Search. I have the link there for you. Now, while we're on that link subject, just a heads up, the code for the class, 51. So click on the YouTube link uh, in the description or go to jm-seo.org 51. And that's going to get you to all of the links and goodies that we're talking about in the class um, today. Today's a little YouTube webinar. All right, number four is Google Alerts. Right, so I have this little pun here. Everybody needs a dog, a little faithful dog that would go out there and search the internet and bring back all the little goodies, all the little goodies that it finds. Google Alerts is, if you don't know about it, it's one of the very best free things that Google has. You go to google.com slash alerts, you put in your search query. Let's say you do organic food. Let's say you do organic baby food. You can have Google bring you all of the search results for organic food. It'll bring them to you every day. You can change it once a week as it happens. You can deliver it. You can get little alerts in your email box about your company name, your competitor's name, your keywords, and you can be very, very with it using Google Alert. So that's a free service from Google. Pretty cool, a little buried. Number five, wouldn't it be awesome if there was a master help file for Google where all the Google products were indexed in one location? You didn't have to figure out what it is. Is it YouTube? Is it SEO? Is it AdWords, etc.? There is support.google.com and look at this. You can search Google support. You can put in bounce rate do a search and it's going to cross search all of the Google platforms and tell you what the answer is. How cool is that? So support.google.com, totally hidden, 
but it's a massive support database of all the Google products. So AdWords, analytics, any of those things. Number six, this sort of relates to the structured data. It sort of relates to the authorship. So what is this about? This is where you create a page. This is my page on what is a landing page in Google Analytics. I want to know, does my picture show? Copy that URL. Take that URL and paste your URL as you're testing your information. Put it into Structured Data Testing Tool. Hit Preview and you can see, put your URL in here and you can see your picture and you can see that it's working. This is a testing tool to verify that you have enabled authorship and you're getting rich snippets. So you can do this for any of your rich snippets, your reviews, any of that stuff. It's a testing tool so you know, hey mom, I did it correctly. Number six. Number seven. Everybody I teach, so many people, I want to know about SEO. I want to get to the top of Google for free. Oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed. Where are information that can help me? Look at this. Webmaster Academy. Beginners, experience, tips for businesses. All sorts of little videos from Google that explain various attributes of SEO, search engine optimization, all those little goodies. Now it's Google propaganda a little bit. It's not all perfect. It's a little bit like they're all like on uh, Quaaludes as they talk. They are Googlers after all, but it's pretty useful. Webmaster Academy number seven. Final thing to round out our little tour of sort of secret Google goodies that not everybody knows about, Google social media. Wouldn't it be nice if there were a directory of every single Facebook page and you could change those categories and you could say, I want to know the product pages. I want to know all the different pages out there. You can do this with this directory. So this directory is a way to find all the Twitter pages, all the Google Plus pages, everything that Google produces on social media. You can find it through this massive directory uh, out there. It's pretty, pretty cool. You can change your region. You can do all sorts of stuff. So if you're thinking, where are the Twitter pages? Where are the Google Plus pages? Where are the blogs for you to be informed by Google about Google? There is actually a directory of it and they produce it and they bury it and they hide it so no one can find it. I've done the hard work for you. That's out number eight. All of this is part of my book on free Google resources. I hope you have the time uh, and the gumption to get that book and read it. So those are your top, what did I say? Top seven, top eight free Google goodies. Not the most obvious ones, but ones that I think are really valuable that not everybody knows exist. Your code is 51, so go and get the goodies. Uh, be a better searcher, be a better internet marketer, subscribe to our channel, and thank you so much for watching.